going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Quantum Break and how well it's selling and what that means for the Xbox One. I'll drop a link in the description. Quantum Break keeps smashing records for the Xbox One. Quantum Break was the biggest selling game in the UK last week and has now broken another massive Xbox One record. Xbox exclusive, Quantum Break launched on Xbox One and PC last Tuesday and confidently landed itself at the top of the UK charts beating off competition from the hugely popular Dirt Rally release. But now, the new game from Remedy has become the biggest selling new Microsoft Studios IP this generation, Microsoft has announced. This means that it's outsold the likes of Rise, Son of Rome, an Xbox One launch title, and Insomniac Games' colorful shooter Sunset Overdrive. Quote, We're delighted that Quantum Break has been so well received by fans and critics. It's a testament to the hard work ambition and commitment of the team at Remedy that the game was already surpassing expectations, end quote, said John Edney, Senior Category Manager at Xbox Studios. The game has already built up a passionate fan base and we look forward to seeing and hearing about their experiences in Riverport. What are my thoughts on this? Uh, the games that they mentioned, only one of the games I know for sure is better than Quantum Break, but there are so few meaningful IPs for the Xbox One. I'm really happy that Xbox One owners are supporting their, their platform, but do not be disillusioned. Do not lie to yourself and make this into a good game in your mind. Uh, the game is not that good. It is really not. It's, it's just an okay gaming experience, and it's something that you can only get on the Xbox One or Windows 10. Don't think for a moment that I'm dissing the game. I played it all the way through, and I... I, I played it for what it was and I took it as what it was and I experienced it for what the experience was and it was just an underwhelming kind of experience. They actually mentioned Dirt Rally as the release that they launched against. That's a joke. Also, they mentioned Rise Son of Rome, which was an Xbox One launch title and you got to keep in mind when this game launched, how many Xbox Ones were sold? Okay. Now, when Quantum Break launched, how many Xbox Ones were sold? There's a much larger install base when Quantum Break released. Now, if Rise Son of Rome released at the same time right now as Quantum Break, it probably would outsell Quantum Break. And I know for damn sure that if Insomniac Games Sunset Overdrive was being released the same day as, as Quantum Break, it would have destroyed Quantum Break. There's no question about it. It's a better game. It's a better looking game and it's just better overall. But those are my thoughts on Quantum Break. I'm happy that, that the Xbox gamers are supporting the Xbox platform. That's a good thing. Uh, it means that they can learn from this. I just wish people were being more critical of this because if everyone lies to themselves just because it's an Xbox game, just because it's an Xbox One exclusive and they say, oh, this game is the bee's knees. It's so good. Well, Remedy's going to believe that bullshit, and they're not going to fix these major glaring issues with this game. That the protagonist is just forgettable. That the story is convoluted. That the powers are just underwhelming. And all this stuff needs to be addressed. I think the graphics of the, of the game are fine. I think that the atmosphere of the game is fine. I just think that there are glaring issues that need to be addressed, and obviously they're going to begin work on a part two. I don't think that we need a television show to uh, to be the counterpart of this game. It was only four episodes, it was kind of meaningless, and it was probably a huge waste of money. They probably could have told the same story in a cutscene. And those are my thoughts. But it's good for the Xbox gamers to support their platform. I see nothing wrong with that. But this article and this story is kind of a big gotcha because now there are 20 million Xbox Ones out there compared to the two or three million back when these other games were released. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you play Quantum Break? Did you enjoy Quantum Break? Are you playing it on Xbox One? Or are you enjoying it on PC? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.